Today we're doing our hummingbird with multi-surface paint. And I'll tell you those paints colors as we're getting going here. But what I want to do is kind of sketch out this hummingbird. And it's going to help you kind of see the structure of the hummingbird. So we're going to come up for her, the head of this. Okay, let me get right here and say we're going to come right here. Okay, and it comes out just a little bit there. And it also comes out a little bit here. And then what happens is it comes down for the tummy, okay? So there's the beak and the head, okay? So we're going to come here. And so the back is going to come across here. This will help you, okay, to the tail. And then all in here, you're going to see different feathers here for the tail, okay? And this is going to come right there. So what's going to happen is your beak's going to come out like this. All right. And we're going to put an eye in here. All right. So then the, I'm going to erase that a little bit because it's a little choppy. So you're going to now work on the wings. Okay. So the wings back here are going to come all the way up like this, all right? And it's going to kind of come down here, but you're going to get feathers that come along here. But then, then we're going to have right here in front, we're going to have other wing, the front wing, okay? And also, see this right in here? We're going to come right in here. And I'm going to erase this. So I kind of want to sketch it out so you kind of see what you're working with when you're coming along here. And these feathers are going to come all the way smaller here and then grow. All right. So we're going to come down a little bit more because the... Um, I'm going to come take some of this off just because I think in proportion, look, we're going to come right here. There we go. And there we go. All right. So what's going to happen here to make this look good is all the colors we're going to use. Okay. So we're going to pick up a few of the colors I put into my double loader. All right. Now I'm going to start with a 12. And I'm going to pick up some white and I'm going to work some of this white right in here in this area, right along here, which you won't see too well with the white art paper I'm using. Okay, so this is a, a 12 flat. Now I'm going to pick up some aqua and I'm going to come right along here and just work this in just a little bit here into the tail area, okay? And so some of this right in here is going to be on the chisel, push and slide up. Just a little bit in there. And then we're gonna start putting some cobalt into it, okay? All right, now we're going to put just a little bit medium and come right between these two colors, the double load. All right, and so I'm going to come right up here, just a little bit in here with the aqua. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little bit of the cobalt. All right, so we're going to work this cobalt in here. And a little bit of this comes right back here. All right. I'm going to come back and put those aqua ones back in there again. And a little bit of this comes back here. A little bit of medium, a little bit of aqua. Okay. All right. So a little bit of green in there, too. There we go. A little bit of green in this area, too. All right. 
Okay, so let's do the head here. Um, I'm going to come with a little bit of taste of water. But a, let's put a little citrus where the, this is a, this is lime green. Okay, we're going to come over the eye and into the beak. Okay, right in there. And so then we put that bright green right in here. You can even bring some white in here to make it really bright. Right in here too. All right. So let's come right under the eye now with these colors. So it is a little bit of the cobalt right in here. And come around. You know what? I'm going to get a smaller brush. If that, if I'm struggling a little bit, you might too. So, I have too much water in there. Okay, so we're going to come right here. We're going to go around and touch the front. And then we're going to come right around here. I'm going to come right around under here. You see how I'm working this in here? Okay. We're going to come right here again. Okay, a little bit of, of lime around there. And we're going to work that into the white, too. All right, so let's get some purple. So I'm getting a little bit of cobalt and violet pansy. All right, so I'm going to come right in here. Tap, 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 tap. A little bit of the purple. It's the purple and some cobalt all right so we're going to put some of that into those feathers and we're going to come a little bit up here okay so let's put a little bit of white in here so i am going to get a smaller brush dampen it and I'm going to put a little bit of white right around the eye so we'll put a little bit of white in here okay and then we're going to bring little bits of white along in here just a little bit All right, just some white in there. And we're going to put a little bit more white in the tummy. So you can make a little bit of purple into that white. So it looks a little bit like a wash. See, just a little bit so that worked in there. We'll give it a really nice look. All right, I can take a little bit of licorice on the tip of the brush. And I want to dot that right there, give him a nice eye. And we're going to give him a beak. And I want to roll the brush. That's a one scrub liner, but that is, you need to have a really fine, nice tip. And a long two scrub liner gives you more control. All right, so I'm going to hold my hand steady my other hand and then I'm going to come right here push down and lift as I'm coming out okay now I've got a pencil mark there that I can erase afterwards I'm going to put a little bit of white in here which I would usually do after it dries a little bit all right so let's get my 12 again you can use maybe even a 10 Let's go for a 10. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up some white 
and come in here and pick up dioxazine. No, this is violet pansy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push and pull. Use some white and violet pansy. And we're going to take those shorter, shorter, shorter. All right. And I can come in here with some white. Okay. Now I'm going to erase any pencil that I don't like, right? So I'm going to come in here and pick up a little bit of um, Prussian blue to go right into there. All right. So back to the violet pansy and white. And let me come along here to show you that all along here, we're going to come that way, all right? And then we go back and get the purples. And so you can pull that right into the cobalt. White and violet pansy. All right, we're going to keep going around. And... You want this to stage down, so you want to come up here and then slowly come down. So you can just come in here and work on your tip only. Wicker white, violet pansy. All right, now I'm going to get aqua. All right, so there you go. Now, I can come in here with a little bit of cobalt because I did over here. All right, so now if I picked up cobalt and I brought it in like this. All right, let's turn it so you can see it. White and cobalt. All right, so we're going to come around with some purple. All right, so this is giving you a little bit of what this looks like to come up in here. But if I take and I dry this all off, I can come in here with a little bit of purple and, and Prussian blue and bring this right in here. So what do you guys think? All right. So I don't, I know you can't see right here, but there you are. All these little strokes gives you a bright, vivid, Hummingbird, you saw how I drew it and how you can come out a little bit, make the tummy a little bit bigger if you want. I'm going to pull this down here so you can actually see the shape. Okay, there you go. All right, so you can have it, it flying. I hope you enjoyed doing that. I wanted you to see how I kind of draw it, think about it, and then create it. And I hope you love these are multi-surface plaid, multi-surface paint. And I want you to see that it's accessible to everybody, but you have to break down all my strokes one at a time to achieve what you want to achieve, okay? And you can get more detailed if you want on the on the hummingbird, or you can just leave it like I have it. I'm gonna come out a little bit more. Okay. But sometimes I put a flower there so you'll see where it's going into. All right.
I'm going to change it up just a little bit. I should just say, you guys probably think it looks fine, right? Uh, but I'm going to come in here. I want the head to be a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to come under here. Okay, just a little bit bigger there. Let's come right here. Okay, a little bit there. And then I can do a little bit back here in the back. I feel like it's got to come right here. Let's go a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit bigger. <laughs> I can keep messing with it and I need to just quit, but I'd like to share with you when I'm creating what I want it to look like. And I just keep coming back till I get what I want. Okay. All righty. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, I need you to practice. So we have many people that say they binge on one stroke painting under these practice strokes. So go back and just create and try some practice strokes by doing them over and over till they feel comfortable. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you.